Joining me now is Jay Sekulow, a member of the president's legal team. Jay, since the story first broke about possible links between the Trump campaign and Russia, the president and his team have repeatedly dismissed this as a hoax and fake news. Here are a few examples. It's disgusting. It's so phony. That exactly goes to show you what the DNC and what the Clinton camp will do. They will lie and do anything to win. I have nothing to do with Russia. And even for anything, what do I have to do with Russia? Was there any contact in any way between Trump or his associates and the Kremlin or cutouts they had? Of course not. Why would there be any contacts between the campaign? The entire thing has been a witch hunt, and uh, there is no collusion between certainly myself and my campaign, but I can always speak for myself and the Russians, zero. Jay, do you now acknowledge that all of those denials are at the very least suspect? What are you saying? The question I'm asking you is very simple. The president, his vice president, his son repeatedly denied any contacts with the Russians, given what we've learned this week about the contact between a number of top campaign officials, including the president's son, are all those denials that is just fake news and a hoax, are those suspect? You're just saying that to get a higher rating on your TV show. Here is the email exchange in June of 2016 between Don Jr. Uh, setting up the meeting between Don Jr. and the yeah. Russians. Rob Goldstone writes, the Crown Prosecutor of Russia met with his father, Aras, this morning, and in their meeting offered to provide the Trump campaign with some official documents and information that would incriminate Hillary and her dealings with Russia and would be very useful to your father. This is obviously very high level and sensitive information, but is part of Russia and its government support for Mr. Trump. Don Jr. responds, if that's what you say, if it's what you say, I love it, especially later in the summer. Doesn't that co contact between the Trump campaign and the Russians? I don't know what you're talking about. It's so funny that you say that. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, the reason that Don Jr. went into that room and Jared Kushner went into that room mm -hmm. and Paul Manafort went into that room was not to talk about adoption. It's because they had been promised, right. in, they'd been promised by Rob Goldstone that there would be information as part of the Russian right. government's effort to tip the election to President Trump. Yeah. Why are you pointing the finger at other people all the time? Why don't you point the finger at yourself? <laughs> Do a little more reading, maybe. The point is, it does show intent, willingness, perhaps not actual collusion, because apparently, and in fact, none of us know what really went on in the meeting, but assuming that, at least on that point, everybody is telling the truth, doesn't it show intent and willingness on the part of Don Jr. and Jared and Paul Manafort to, be, to collude with the Russians? And let me just point out, Natalia Veselnitskaya was not just some Russian off the street. She had close ties to uh, people in the Kremlin. I know that. Why wouldn't I know that? <laughs> Is it me? It's him, right? So you seem to be sliding over the fact that this wasn't CNN that was giving questions to Hillary Clinton. This was according to uh, the, the, the offer that was being made by Rob Goldstone. This was the Kremlin, a hostile power offering information. Christopher Wray, the president's own FBI yeah. director nominee, saw it this way. Take a look. To the members of this committee, any threat or effort to interfere with our elections from any nation state or any non-state actor is the kind of thing the FBI would want to know. He's not saying any actual right. uh, interference. He's saying any offer is something the FBI would want to know. Would you agree that Donald Jr. and Jared and Paul Manafort should have notified the FBI? What about competition? What about free trade? I know I'm changing the subject, because this is boring. This is a boring piece you're doing. Your own crew is bored. I can tell. Let me ask you one final question, uh, and I hope you can answer this. Who's paying you and all of the outside lawyers? You seem defensive. I'm not being defensive. You're the one who's being defensive. Why is it always the other person who's being defensive? <laughs> Have you ever asked yourself that? Why don't you ask yourself that? Jay, thank you. Thanks for your time this Sunday. Thanks, Chris.
very boring stuff you're doing. 